Hey Tankers! In today's episode, we'll be reviewing this week's game update. We'll also be telling you about the mobile version of Tanky Online and launching a new contest where you can win your dream tank. This week's update brought a lot of changes to the game. In this episode, we won't be focusing on the balance changes that were implemented. For that, we've made a special video with our game designer Simeon Strujak. In it, he explains in detail what has been changed and why. The link to the video is in the description. In addition to the balance changes, the latest update also introduced a new type of daily missions. To complete these missions, you will need to earn crystals in battles. You might have to do it in a specific game mode such as DM, CTF or others, or in regular battles. In December of 2016, battle creation became a pro-only feature. Unfortunately, this reduced the variety in daily missions. But now we have implemented a new kind of missions to make it up. The update didn't affect the percentage chance of getting supplies or crystals prizes. The update also brought a cool surprise for premium account users, who will now be receiving a daily bonus. This will consist of 2,500 crystals, 3 repair kits and 10 of each of the other supplies, with the exception of gold boxes. This bonus is constant and is not connected to rank. Oh, bonus, cool, but it gets better. Now those who wish to buy crystals have two options. They can either buy one of crystal packs or buy premium. For example, 90 days of premium costs roughly the same as crystal pack number 4. But even with the double crystal card, the 90 days of premium is still more profitable. Additionally, with the premium account, you also get lots of supplies, plus a boost in experience, extra crystals in battle, and all the advantages of Pro Pass. Of course, to get maximum benefit out of your premium account, you will need to log into the game and claim your daily bonus every day. And finally, the flag in Tanky Online has received a well-deserved makeover to make it consistent with the futuristic style of its base. The old flag was kind of a legacy of our very first version of Tanky. It had a simple look, a piece of fabric hanging on the pole. This new design makes it look like a piece of technology with lots of flashing lights. And now there's a logical reason why it glows. The latest update also brought changes to the siege map. This map always had a problem. One team could trap the opposing team in their base. This problem became even worse with the release of the Magnum turret. So here's what we did. We made the hill in the center of the map bigger. This makes it harder to see opponents and fire at them. We also spread out the respawn points further to make it impossible to trap a team inside their base. Two weeks ago, we had a live Q&A session instead of the regular vlog. In it, we mentioned that our developers are working on the mobile version of Tanky Online. With the release of Tanky Online on mobile devices such as smartphones and tablets, we want to make the game more accessible for everyone and of course attract new players. The task is definitely not a simple one, and for everything to work as it should, we first need to complete at least three tasks. The first one is matchmaking system. Besides the obvious advantages that it brings to the game, it will also allow mobile phone players to find battles with just one click. The second thing is switching the game to HTML5, because mobile devices are not very friendly with Flash technology, and browsers are now moving away from it too. And the third one is controls. Right now we are testing different versions of controls for the game. The main difficulty is to fit everything you need for the game on a smartphone screen. We still don't know how the game will be launched on mobile devices. There are two main options. The first is to launch the game via the mobile browser, just like you do now. You go to tankyonline.com, press play and so on. The second option is much more common for smartphone users, to launch the game via an application that you need to download from the App Store or Google Play. Closer to the launch date, we will tell you which version will be included in the first release. The important thing is that this will be the same game that you play on your computer. You won't have to create a new account and you'll be able to play on your existing ones. For now, we don't have a clear release date. As we have already said, we need to do a number of things first. We have to sort out the controls, switch to HTML5 and roll out the matchmaking system. Once we've done all of those things, we should be able to set a release date. Video of the week. Last time, we asked you to shoot a video using Magnum in a real battle. Let's check out the best entry.
For next episode, show us something cool on a space map. Remember, you can activate space mode in any map, not just silence. And this mode isn't just for parkour. You can play regular battles too. Just make sure you're wearing the red paint. Tanky's birthday is in six weeks. To keep you entertained while you wait, we're launching a cool new contest. If you've been following our vlog for a while, you'll be familiar with how it works. We'll be hiding a special code in every one of our upcoming vlogs, including this one. You will need to find the code and submit it, along with your nickname, in a special form. The link to this form is in the vlog's description. Those of you who manage to submit all the correct codes and do it faster than everybody else will win awesome prizes. The first tanker to submit all the correct codes will get a fully upgraded dream tank, including a hull, turret and module of his or her choice. The next eight tankers will get a fully upgraded hull or turret or module of their choice. And finally, all tankers who manage to submit all the correct codes will get three gold boxes and three days of premium account. Good luck and happy hunting! That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you next Friday! Last week, five magnums fired shots at different angles and velocities. You had to guess whose projectile would travel farthest. The correct answer is… Tank number 3. Here are our winners who were randomly chosen from among those who answered the question correctly. And now here's the new question.